to believe scientists. No, 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 no. Science is not a priesthood. It's not a college of cardinals. No scientist, no matter how decorated, no matter how great their achievement, is a pope speaking ex cathedra. Believe and obey. That's not science. That's religion. We don't need a planet of believers. We do need a planet of scientists. To respect science, you must become a scientist. You don't need a degree. You don't need a laboratory. You don't need a job working at the Hadron Collider. What you need, what we all need, is a basic understanding of the scientific method, of experimental design, the importance of sample size, control groups, how to filter out the extraneous factors, how to read a scientific report with a bullshit detector. Science is not down to a mad genius in a basement writing equations on a blackboard no one else understands. There is a place for that, but it's embedded in a vast social enterprise. Modern science is a product of the printing press and the telegraph and the telephone and the radio and the internet. Every advance in mass communication is a leap in our ability to learn from experience, not just our own, but other people's too. That's what science is, a systematic way of doing this. Scientific knowledge is a social creation. And as long as society is a battleground between the rich and the poor, science will be a battleground too. They say truth is the first casualty in war, but if you're fighting for a lie, you've already lost. So if you wanna make a better world, if you're serious about revolution, if you want to be a soldier in the army of human liberation, you must become a scientist. Three.